Okay, I'm packing the last puppy pack, which is for Blanche going tomorrow, which is Monday morning. And as you see, I've got my bag. I've got some toys. The whole point is that they're familiar with them, so uh, that's why they're all looking a little worn. Um, I've also included a chew so that uh, the puppy has plenty to chew on. What you might, what you might say, legal chews rather than illegal chews like slippers. And then you've also got to have a piece of their bedding. Um, this has been one of their favourite things because they can nuzzle into it as, uh, and and tug it between them. So it's been a good toy as well as a source of comfort. Um, you're also supposed to include this document wallet that the Kennel Club has provided as part of the Assured Breeder Scheme. And in it we have the contract, which apart from obvious things, also mentions the endorsements. I got this from the Kennel Club website with a couple of clauses from other places um, about endorsements, which means they can't register any puppies until I lift the endorsement. So it just means either no breeding or not breeding when they're too young. And also I have made a commitment um, that... Um, I am to be informed if for some reason the puppy needs to be rehomed at any point in its life and if it's returned before it is three I will do it. <laughs> I will pay oops some technical difficulties going on here and it's not the puppy's fault um, I'll pay half the purchase price and if they're older than three just a hundred pounds so that's two copies of the contract one for me one for the buyer um, we've got the pedigree in it, including, there you go, the amazing Blanche. And we've also done the uh, mini puppy album with some baby photos, because, of course, once they're full-grown schnauzers, it would be hard to remember what they were like. And the free insurance that the Kennel Club provides in the hope that you're going to carry on paying for it. The vet's record of the first vaccination. The second one has to be done after the 29th of August and before the 15th of September. Um, that's the pet log, that's the microchipping. Uh, this is the actual registration with the Kennel Club, which has on the back the transfer of ownership, which I've already signed. So if the new one, owners want to register their ownership with the Kennel Club, they can, as long as they pay £15. That's the clear eye certificate that we got from the New Markets Animal Trust. And at the back there is a questionnaire um, so that the buyers can report on how well I've done as a assured breeder. And the other side, let's put all these in place in roughly the right order. On the other side is um, advice sheets, which again is part of the commitment of an And they're kind of supposed to be relevant to um, the particular breed. So when you talk about schnauzers, you talk how quickly they get fat. And I've included some information about games you can play to make food more stimulating. And... Um, grooming munitioners uh, and feeding and vaccination. Doing it myself, well, I've collated it from people like the RSPCA and the Kennel Club, has allowed me to include information about um, how, what we've done with vaccinations. And also I've made the um, puppy pack a little more, little more relevant because I am included. Um, disappeared now. Things like a poo bag and that's what I was looking for. I think I put it there, you can see it properly. The uh, remove tick remover. There's your roll of poo bags. So if you say pick up poo because people can get infections from the worms that dogs carry, it makes sense to put in poo bags. I've also got some visual information. Come back a bit. Healthy dog food snacks like an apple, unhealthy ones like chocolate and grapes, and also, as I say, schnauzers are prone to being barrel shaped, which isn't good for them because they get pancreatitis. So that's the kind of shape a dog should be, which is having a bit of a knit in waist and being able to see perhaps the last um, last rib. Um, 
on the training I was able to talk about the DVD that I got from the Dogs Trust. I'd come across it on YouTube, but um, of course training's pretty essential to the puppies. So I got those for DVD and included some treats. So that's what goes into the puppy pack, plus a menu on how to, the food, we provide five days of food, and because we're raw food, that means frozen food. Um, so mum will bring that out last thing, and then I've got an advice sheet, what they're feeding for the first days, and if they want to carry on raw, how to carry on. So, that's what's inside the puppy pack. Um, I'm going to upload the documents onto the blog, in the hope that other people can copy and paste because um, it seems a bit of a waste to only do them for one litter of puppies. Okay, uh, thank you for your time. I think this might be the last video I do. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed sharing the puppy project. And um, I'm fairly sure you're much better informed as to... That's the dog that's staying. How puppies happen. Hey Blanche! Are you going to say goodbye to the ladies and gentlemen? Are you? There you go. Bye-bye.